Nurse. Nurse. I need more calcium gluconate. You just had five mLs. QRS is getting wider. My potassium is rising. I'll talk to your doctor. <sighs> One quick look at the ECG and Dr. House nailed it. Let's learn five important ECG changes in hyperkalemia where calcium gluconate is indicated and becomes a lifesaver. First, peaked T waves, the earlier sign you cannot miss. Second, widening of PR intrule, the warning signal of conduction slowing down. Third, widening of QRS complex as in this case, a red flag for imminent danger. Fourth, loss of P wave, where atria has stopped contributing. And fifth is sinusoidal wave pattern, the point of no return. Now remember, calcium does not decrease potassium. It just stabilizes the cardiac membrane. That is very important to prevent fatal arrhythmias. Now comes the question, how much calcium to give? It is 10 ml of 10% calcium gluconate over 2 to 5 minutes, repeated as needed. Now it's your turn. Tell me how much insulin is given to, to lower down the potassium levels. Drop your answers below in the comment section. Bye-bye.